searching Australia for the nation's finest craft brewers, sorting the most creative suds from the everyday duds. So let's get to it on Kegs of Glory. Melbourne's weather can be a little moody. One minute you're working on your tan, the next you're running for cover. When the mists roll across Mount Dandenong and the rain tumbles down in Main Street Croydon, there's no finer way to take the edge off the cold than with a good craft IPA. So come inside, sit by the fire and enjoy the warm Croydon hospitality of the public brewery. I'm Brendan Guild, uh, most people call me Brendo, I'm the head brewer here. And uh, I'm Dale White and uh, my wife and I are the founders of the public brewery. My wife and I own a cafe in the same town, just a few doors up, which we've had for 13 years. And we were looking for something um, else for our community. We we're pretty community minded. And um, I experienced a, a brew on premise experience, uh, a home brew style thing with some mates. We were invited to go along for a day. We had the most amazing day. And I just thought me and my mates after a few beers thought, wow, if we could do that experience and add to it the hospitality side, this is a winner. We woke up the next morning with a hangover and it was still a good idea. So uh, that was the beginning of the public brewery. Yeah. Best kind of ideas. Yeah. You're hungover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Set a little bit of an escape on the way home from the office to uh, back to home, you know, so we can just sort of drop in. A few of the guys from work will come down, sit in front of the fireplace. We're so lucky to have something like this in the eastern suburbs. I would have to say that I grew up in Croydon. I'm I'm a Croydon boy. We love Croydon and we love the changes that we've seen here over the last, you know, 10 years. My wife and I bought a house here nearly 20 years ago. We're very young lovers and I can ride my bike to work, you know. We, we really put into this community and, and I still coach and play football in the community and what we've seen and the changes we've seen gave us the faith to put these businesses together here, you know, and I guess we're very, very lucky that that was reciprocated and people people honoured it and came in. I mean, my impressions from a long time ago was not great about Croydon, but these days it's got great cafes and Croydon as well, just a great gateway to the uh, Yarra Valley, all of those sorts of things. So. I'd like to add to that, Brendan, Brendan is a local, lives local, and he would walk past home from the train station from his city job and uh, I realised pretty early when he realised that we were building a brewery, he'd ask me questions that I couldn't answer and he didn't actually let us know that he was a brewer. He wore a suit, at the time he wore a suit, and then one day I was like, dude, you know way, way, way more about beer than I do. And then it turned out that he was a brewer. And... It wasn't a high bar. <laughs> <laughs> Not a high bar at all. My favourite and a bit of a, a favourite across the family of the brewery is Red Falcon, um, which is what Dale and I are currently drinking. Cheers, boss. Um, so this is our American Red, um, really balanced between malt and hops, um, sort of suits my mood either way. I feel like something hoppy, it's got enough in there. I feel like something malty, there's plenty, plenty in there as well. You guys have never told me what beers we need to brew. It was always just about brewing good beer and playing and having fun with it, you know, and just kind of left me to it. I say if it's good or bad, you know, that's... Your opinion doesn't always count, no, but right. you know, because I'm the brewer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's just a good vibe. Uh, I think it's a yeah, good, good selection of beers going on over here. I've always found it to be really friendly, and I always find myself drinking beer when I'm here. What's so great about the Melbourne craft beer scene is we have, I think, over 80 craft beers in our shop from Victorian craft breweries. And uh, the community of the Melbourne craft brewery scene is very tight, but um, I'll hand it over to Brendan, because obviously Brendan is the beer nerd. And Melbourne, Melbourne's just pretty organic. Like it just, it, it ticks along, it doesn't try too hard. I guess one of the things I really like about Melbourne as, as a brewer is the, the seasonality. So, you know, it does get cold. We can do dark beers and, you know, play around with things based on, you know, the weather changing and people's moods and that sort of thing. You can't do that in Queensland. It's just pale and fizzy up there because it's, it's hot all the time. Said, there's no need to warm yourself there's with no, a stout. Nah, that's it. You can't drink stout in 35 degree weather. It's as simple as that, you know. Is that. Well, that's it for this instalment of Kegs of Glory. Until next time, remember, 
Drink less, drink better and travel often.